In Calcutta, Rarick expected to meet Rabindranath Tagore, but the poet had left the city. Greeting Rarick instead were Tagore's brother and nephew, the painters Abhinandranath and Gogonendranath. Rarick also came to know Asit Kumar Haydar, director of the Lucknow Art School, and the distinguished physicist Jagadish Bose. When Rarick met Bose, the scholar was investigating the response of plants to electromagnetic stimuli, and Rarick, who had believed since the days of his acquaintance with Vladimir Bekhtarev that research into radio waves and similar emanations was the key to understanding psychic phenomena, found Bose's studies enthralling. In the late 1920s, when Rarick founded his Himalayan Research Center, Bose was one of the first people he enlisted to lend credibility to it. With the end of 1923 approaching, the Rarick's left Calcutta for Darjeeling, arriving in late December. This northern zone, flanked by the Himalayas and fragrant with the aroma of orange pico, was the India Nicholas and Helena had pictured in their minds for so many years. But two seismic shocks shifted their attention to global politics. In December Choki Naima, the ninth Panchen Lama, had abandoned the seat of his power in Tibet and fled to Chinese-controlled Inner Mongolia. And the following January, Lenin died in Moscow. Both of these events, otherwise unrelated, offered practical chances to advance the Great Plan, and the former, according to the Rorik's worldview, was prophecy come true.